Hi guys, it's Gerard, and thanks for coming by again and supporting me and everything. I hit over 400 subscribers this week, and you guys have been wanting to know a lot, and I thought I'd do this video to try to put a little light on 65 or older. And uh, so... Alright, everybody's been asking from the day I was born all the way up through everything. So, let's see if we go through the early part quick. So, I was born in the early 50s. Oldest of nine kids. Uh, yeah, you guys got it made. In those days, we had a rotary phone and a radio. Yep. So my first TV when I was about five years old, my grandpa bought one. He was the first one in the family. Little 10 inch screen, monster cabinet. Big as this cabinet over here. That's what it took to run a 10 inch screen with big tubes. And uh, see, we got ours, I guess I was about seven. It was about the same thing, 10 inch screen. But. That's what we had. Three channels in New York, and that was it. We were lucky where we lived, or there were other people who can get them for years. You know, if you were 75 miles away from where they were broadcasting, you were out of luck. But, back in the days growing up, people didn't go around and say they were a DIY guy. We told people we were a jack of all trades and professional at none. <laughs> we just tinkered until we got it right. Did a lot of our own car repairs and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with nine kids, it was it was tight. We weren't poor. My dad put a roof over our heads, food and clothes. We wanted anything extra. We had to work for it. I started doing a paper route when I was 12 on a bike. So, but, uh, <coughs> yeah, I finished school, worked my whole life, uh, fished, hunted, camping. We were outside. We never sat around inside. Heck, you heard it. Your mom would just tell you to, hey, Go on outside and play. Dinner's not till 5 o'clock. But make sure you're back by 5. And, uh, that's what you did. Uh, as I got a little older, I got into chasing girls and building hot rods. Uh, met my wife. Got married. Uh, let's see. Time I got married. I was working high steel. I was a union steel worker in New York. And uh, then in the 80s, the 70s, wait, oh boy, I'm getting ahead. In the 70s, things went really bad with the economy then in New York. So bad, we ended up selling everything, packing up what was left, and moving to Houston, Texas. Started all over again. And there I got into drywall and learned how to hang and finish and me and another guy I met from Ohio still best friends to this day we went out and started our own company and we ran a company for years and then in the 80s Texas went bad so what did we do the work was in Georgia right here in Atlanta we moved to Atlanta and started all over again but in the meantime, I was still hunting like crazy in Texas. Texas was great for hunting. Oh, my God. I love shotguns, so any kind of hunting with shotguns, birds, anything. I killed a lot of deer with a shotgun. And uh, then I got into the shotgun sports. First trap. Did that for a while. But I got bored. And then I got into skeet shooting. Did really well at it. I uh, worked my way all the way up. I'm re I'm a, well, I'm still a registered skeet shooter, even though I can't shoot. But I made it all the way into the top AAA class with the pros. Been on TV, all that junk. And uh, loved it. Met people not only from all over the country, but from all over the world. Made a lot of friends. 
and uh, got into bird hunting and training some bird dogs, made more friends. It's been good. Life has been good. I've done a lot of stuff. My dad bought a pool table when I was 13, and I'm one of them people. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to learn it. Turned out to be a pretty good player. I don't mean a hustler or somebody who just played on Friday nights in the beer joints. I was a player. Very good. Uh, hence the pool table behind me. <laughs> but uh, let's see. We got through that mess. Well, life was good. It was going along great. Yeah, things got bad here after, like everybody else's economy. I'm going around just doing what I can for a check. Because uh, I never just sat and cried. I knew how to do a lot of different things. Remodeling, whatever it took to get a check. And because of that, moving concrete and stuff, I busted up my back. And I am disabled now. So, no more hunting or running or chasing dogs hunting or anything like that anymore. And... Uh, I was messed up. I had a hard time getting around and everything for almost a year or two. And even now at this point, I'm not supposed to carry more than a gallon of milk. But uh, then my wife, she started having problems, got ill. Went through a few years of that. And got her to turn around on that where she's doing better now. Everything's good. I mean, for our age, we're doing great. Uh, <coughs> and that's when her... Best friend, Beth, sent me an Asus EEE 901 notebook PC. And that's the first one I ever owned or turned on. And then all of this started from there. It's all her fault. So, uh, yeah, I just had that. Had to learn how to just keep it running. Learned how to use the internet. Uh... What was safe, what wasn't. Uh, I messed that notebook up a couple of times. Even had to get help once to fix it. But, uh, and that's when I started to find out where I could get, you know, computers. Even if they weren't new. Uh, my brother came up with the one I told you about. And learned from there. But, uh, basically I just had a life where I never sat around in the house. Not much for watching ball games or football or anything else on TV. Unless it was raining. Uh, I'm more into watching sports where it's uh, just the one person. Like tennis. Uh, yeah, I've watched a lot of tennis players go through. I watched a lot of that. Uh, them people, no matter how tore up, bandaged up or whatever, they get out there and they go. And they go for hours. And uh, got a lot of respect for that. They, of course, I was in a sport where it wasn't a team sport. Uh, I go to a big ski shoot, but that'd be three, four, or five days long. Not knowing if the sheet rocker or the shooter was going to show up. Uh, there's a lot to it. When you get into them classes, you go to the event, and the idea is to make it to the shoot off that night. Well, my class, the event be 100 targets, if I miss one, probably wouldn't get a pat on the back for showing up. I had to run them all. So I had a lot of respect for people in single-person sports. And, uh, but I just thought I'd throw up this quick video, maybe help answer some of the questions I've been getting in the comments now for the last, oh, quite a few videos people wanting to know. But, uh, that's about it, and you know what I love to do, you know, I love getting these old computers from people or recycle or wherever, and getting them fixed, getting them up and running and working, and giving them to the needy. People who, you know, their families are struggling and stuff like that, but they need something. It's great. It's good for that. Good for the kids' homework. Good for grandma to keep up with the families across the country. And, uh, Swapping photos and videos and recipes. It's, I, I, I love the look on their face when they get them. So, uh, this is just a quick video. 
uh, like everybody says, like, share, please share. I love meeting new people. And they might like meeting me. And uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. Sorry there's no PC or tech in this stuff. I ought to pick up something though. So when I put the tag in, it looks good. What can I pick up for tech? Okay. I bought a few of these $4 Chinese wireless mice. <laughs> I'm on this thing. I got it turned on. I'm on it probably 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night. They don't last. I've wore out two now. I'm on my, another one, and I'm going to have to get a good one. It's getting annoying. So, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot, and you all have a good day. Sorry I haven't put one up sooner. Uh, still thinking what the next one's going to be. Have to see what comes in. All right, then. Thank you.